HitFilm Sensei here. Today we're going to do this. All right, so we're going to start by creating the sound effect for the super speed effect. This super speed effect could actually be, uh, you know, the Flash or Quicksilver or something like that. It could be your own made up superhero or character, whatever it is. But we're going to start by making the sound effect that he makes, you know, that whoosh, whoosh, okay? And I was originally, I was just going to, you know, kind of go whoosh, whoosh to the camera, but, you know, it doesn't really sound very good. But I have this piece of plastic tubing and you could use a piece of PVC piping. And what I found is when you, you know, it sounds really cool. So I'm going to make that sound effect right now. Here we go. Ready? Perfect. So now I'm going to make the super speed effect and I'm going to start by creating three frames worth of me blurring in. So I'm going to start over here. Here's the first frame. Let's make this the second frame. And let's make this the third frame. Now I just have to make my final. And I'm going to use this hat to really sell the effect. So I'm going to act like I just stopped right here. Ready? And that's it. Let's go ahead and bring it into the, the footage into the HitFilm 3, or sorry, HitFilm 4 Express, and we'll make this happen. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take that footage that we filmed and we're going to bring it into HitFilm. We're also going to, I also captured some background noise. I'm going to bring that in as well, about 10 seconds worth of that. So that's important to know. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating some assets out of this. So I'm going to take my raw footage, I'm going to drop it down. We're going to start by creating that whoosh sound first. So what I have to do is I have to go through the footage and sort of find it. Okay, and I think it's, yeah, it's somewhere around here, I think. I'm gonna slice this, and then I'm going to move it forward to about there, and I'm gonna slice it again. And that's basically it, this piece right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click it and say make into a composite shot and we're gonna call it whoosh, exclamation point, boom. Okay, so now when we listen to that, that's pretty much it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a couple of more assets here uh, and I'm gonna start by, I need to create the blur frames each one. So we're gonna start by moving forward to where I was at when I first, whoops, that's actually the second one, about right there maybe, yeah, about right there. So I'm gonna just options, export that frame, and we're gonna call it number one, okay, boom. Then I'm gonna move forward a little bit more, and about there, let's export this frame, we'll call it number two, and then we're gonna move forward one more time, and whoop, about right there. And we're going to export that as a frame. We're going to call it number three. Okay. Um, also, we need uh, a clean plate. So let me back up to where I no nothing was on there. I'm going to export this frame. And we're going to call it clean plate. Just like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to come to where I actually sort of stopped. Uh, oh, gosh. I might have just hit that. Yeah, about right there. Okay, and I'm gonna slice that. And then I'm going to slide forward through it until about the end, yeah, about right there. And I'm gonna slice that. And then this piece here is gonna be another asset that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna make that into a composite shot and call it end part, okay? All right. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a composite shot that I'm going to work everything in, and we're going to call that uh, final shot, which is the final shot of, of it. And we're going to start by bringing in the, uh, uh, oh, I, you know what I need to do is, 
We're going to bring in all of these guys right here. We're just going to import them, the ones that I used. We're going to bring in a clean plate. That'll be nice to have. Oh, wait, just a clean plate. That would be just fine. Okay, the clean plate. I'm going to bring in the end part, and I'm going to actually... Oh, you know what I want to do is I want to make this a little bit bigger, you know, maybe more like nine seconds. All right, and we'll expand our work area and slide this down so that it's at the end. And of course, it's going to be here. And then my clean plate only has to last until there. So now what happens is it's sort of there, bang, and then I hit, right? So you could tell that that's quiet. There's no sound. And all of a sudden, there's sound. So we're going to use the background noise to fill in that sound a little bit there. So that way there's noise all the way through. So now there's background noise and then boom, I appear out of nowhere. Okay. And that looks great. So now we're going to add in our three frames worth. Okay. So let's give ourselves some room to work and we're going to start by adding in frame number three right there. And then I'm going to slice off. It's only going to be literally one frame, and we're going to delete it. Okay, then we're going to bring in frame number two, but we're going to put it right there. And we're going to slice it off here. And we're going to delete the rest. And then we're going to bring in frame number one. And then we'll slice it right here and delete the rest again. All right, so now what we have is like that. And that actually looks pretty cool. Now, let's go back because this right here, what we're going to do is we're going to blur it so it looks it's a motion blur, right? But first, we're going to mask out. So it can be rough because it's, it's going to end up being really blurred anyway. So we don't have to really be exact on the mask. And now I'm going to add, I'm going to look for the angle blur effect, and I'm going to drop it right here. But it's angling the wrong way, so I need it 90 degrees. And then I'm just going to, yeah, about like that, okay? All right, then we're gonna move forward to this one. And I'm gonna bring it over using the right mouse key. Again, I'm going to just very roughly, because it doesn't have to be spectacular, it's gonna end up being massively blurred out anyway. Angle blur. And again, we need to make that 90. And then we're just gonna, like that. Oh, how lovely. Okay, now we're going to go forward another one. And I'm going to zoom out here and reposition so that I can uh, uh, mask this one again. And here we go. This one I'm going to be a little more exact because it's kind of closer. And so it will sort of be obvious. Like that. Okay, and then, okay, good enough. And now, blur it again. Angle blur again. I need to turn the angle to 90 degrees. And then, yeah, okay. So now, when we've done all that, what we have is, yeah, that looks great. Now, let's scale the fit and we'll take another look at it. Ready? Beautiful. Okay, now all we have to do is add in our whoosh, and we're pretty much good to go. So we're going to bring in the whoosh sound effect, and bring it over to about where I'm actually moving in. And we have to sort of position this. Let's try that. And that looks pretty good. And that is basically how you create a super speed effect. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, the comments below. And otherwise, thanks for watching.